I am Samita. I am an eco entrepreneur, a fashion designer, and academic. I live and work out of Melbourne, Australia. But you know what? With my e commerce store, Dida Eco Gifts Online, I have followers and clients all over the world. So join me. The Chinese gold miners first arrived in Australia in 1854. By 1855, there were 17,000 Chinese gold miners in Australian gold fields. They named the Australian gold fields the New Gold Mountain. They lived frugally in segregated camps. Encumbrances Hindrances, marginalization, and discrimination notwithstanding, they struck gold in Ararat. They found large gold deposits. By 1871, there were 24,000 Chinese gold miners in towns like Bendigo, Ballarat, Ararat, Beechworth, and Castlemaine. The Chinese came seeking a better future for their families who stayed back. They lived in segregated camps, in humble tents, with few belongings. They looked different, dressed differently, practiced a different religion, and ate different food. They were treated with animosity and suspicion by the European miners. By the end of the 19th century, the industrious Chinese had diversified into furniture making, cabinetry, and drapery, among other things. So you can see lacquered canopies, four-poster beds, wooden chests, jewel encrusted screens, the abacus, calligraphy pens and scrolls, art imitating life, the koi ka, and the hand-painted scrolls. In 27th century BC, a Chinese empress discovered the art of silk making. She was sipping tea, sitting under a mulberry tree, and a silkworm cocoon fell into her cup and started unraveling. For a very long time, the Chinese kept the art of silk making a secret. Naturally, silk was one of their biggest exports. But finally, two Byzantine monks managed to smuggle some silkworm cocoons and take them to Europe. The textile legacy of the Chinese in Australia includes exquisitely embroidered cloud collars, on silk, rich scrolls embroidered with metallic threads, the world's longest imperial dragon, embroidered wraps, 
mandarin jackets fans and hair accessories i discovered a few such nuggets at the gumsan chinese heritage center in ararat the gumsan center and the golden dragon museum in bendigo are treasure troves of chinese textiles and artifacts if you have liked this video give us a thumbs up share like comment and subscribe spread the learn with samita buzz among your friends family colleagues neighbors pets so that we can continue to bring to you quality videos like this coming up next week the bumper mothers day video till then goodbye